Hello, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the Summer Trimester. My role is to provide you with information, guidance and support on a range of personal, practical and emotional issues. I'm here to look after your welfare and your well-being while you study with us. When we stopped for our two weeks spring break, who would have thought that our lives and routines would have been disrupted and the world as we knew it changed so dramatically by COVID-19? We've all been following government guidelines and restrictions in our different countries, and this has brought a level of uncertainty, anxiety and worry as we tried to make sense of what was happening. We had no expectations of what we needed to do or how best to do it. We were all worried that somebody that we loved, or perhaps ourselves, might contract the virus and what this might mean. It has been a stressful experience and this has tested our resilience. We've all been doing our best and we're here to start the next chapter. We've adapted and found new ways of doing things in our virtual world and in our learning environment, which will continue for the summer trimester. This demonstrates your resilience, your ability to bounce back from a challenging experience, to adapt, to make changes, to maintain your well-being in difficult circumstances. Starting a new trimester, we have the opportunity to review what worked, to reflect on what didn't and to make changes. I'm now going to cover some brief tips to maintain your physical and mental health during this trimester. Our usual rituals that separate our day into study or work, daily life activities or leisure have been merged and now all happen in the same place. It's a good idea to set up a structure, a routine and a plan to help create some sense of rhythm and certainty. A separate study space if you have one. It's also a good idea to get up at the same time each day and to divide your day into blocks which include study, eating and leisure activities. Self-care is really important. Looking after your physical health, your food and your exercise, your emotional health, what lifts your mood, whether that's music, going for a walk, meditation. When you're studying, focus in short bursts, then rest, reset and recharge. Probably about 90 minute blocks. Sleep is really important, but it's probably that's something that's been affected during this time. But ideally, we need to sleep somewhere between seven and nine hours to rest and really kind of get the benefit of it. Connecting is another thing that's really important. We need to connect, connect with your friends, your friends in college, your friends outside of college and distractions. So trying to find healthy distractions. We can all get too involved in watching too much news, too much social media. So maybe make a list of perhaps three or five healthy distractions, things that you enjoy and things that you can turn to when you need to get just, you know, a lift a little bit. And at this time, it's really, I suppose, what we're having is some good days, some bad days, and that's everybody that I've talked to. So the thing to remember is that each day is a new day. So when you get up the next day, it's an opportunity to start over. From talking to a number of you over the last semester, I know that you found this time particularly stressful and challenging and some of you continue to do so. It's really important that you seek support. If you're at home, you can talk to friends, family members. Where your distress is impacting significantly, you may need professional services such as counselling. These services are currently moved online, and maybe perhaps where you are, there might be some local services. The UCD counselling team are available, and they do continue to offer support, but this tends to be one-off phone consultation. UCD also has Silver Cloud, which is an online mental health support app, which can be accessed via your SysWeb. It's based on CBT and it supports people who experience stress, anxiety and depression to learn new skills to manage and cope and bring better balance back into their lives. Other things that I can recommend are meditation apps such as Calm, Headspace or Insight Timer. From a school point of view, we're all here to support you during this trimester. For academic support, contact your programme manager or contact your academic coordinator. If it's anything personal or emotional, you can have a chat with me. I'm here to support you in relation to workload, motivation, any issues that arise that impact on your academic work. Just reach out. We can have a chat. I'm available on Google Hangouts, on Skype on Zoom and all that remains is for me to wish you the very, very best of luck and I hope that you have a really good summer trimester.